So it was only a few weeks ago, Turkey had a hard two week lockdown. Now we're seeing the return of Formula One. So what does that mean? It's some, some joy of normalization to come back. Well, as you said, I mean, we're delighted. We're so happy to be hosting it again, hopefully, let's say. I mean, it was obviously a disappointment that we were going to, rep I mean, that was cancelled after we were going to replace the Canadian GP uh, early June. But now we have the chance to, let's say, host it again, replacing Singapore GP. So now, I mean, like we were, we were ready then and we're still going to be ready then as well. So, you know, we're just delighted. I mean, I just want that this basically race is permanent. We don't want to be filling the gaps, but, you know. We'll see what happens in the future, I guess. And as we look at other sporting events around the world that are occurring, and we see these tortured preparations for the Olympics, there's a wide range of the types of restrictions that are going to be in, in effect. Mm -hmm. So what's being discussed for this? Are, is it going to be highly restricted, or what do you think? I mean, obviously, you know, when, when October comes, we don't know exactly what's going to happen regarding the, the COVID restrictions. but. I think the world is on the mend regarding the case numbers, the death numbers, and obviously a lot of people are getting vaccinated by the day. And I think Turkey, as it is, as a country, is doing really well regarding the vaccination numbers. So I, I think we're on the mend, and it seems like the uh, the race is going to have spectators. And I think uh, there will be much restrictions, I'd say. And um, you know, when when October comes, I think we'll be in a position that we will be able to visit, see the race, and we'll have enough expectations to actually give it a good show. Right. October is still a long way off, so there's plenty of is, time yeah. to plan. But given that it's been such a competitive season, is there a chance that this race will really determine mm -hmm. the, the grand outcome? Well, I mean, I think it's round 16 out of 23, so there'll still be another six, seven races after that. But, you know, you're coming to the closing end of the season, so you know, you're starting to really dis like we'll see basically what's going to happen towards the end. It's like the final straight basically of the season. So I, I really hope that the Turkish GP will host a good spectacle, let's say. Jason, at least it is something to look forward to. Thanks so much. You're welcome. Have a good day.